Hi, Stacy Burke here. It's December 1st, the 1st of December, 2018. I don't know if I'm going to do Vlogmas, but it is Vlogmas time. And I might attempt to do it. I don't know. I've kind of attempted throughout the years. Vlogmas, if you don't know what it is, YouTubers, they just upload a video every day. Today is Saturday. It's 8.45 uh, in the morning. I've been up early. Um doing my animal chores and doing stuff. Um, I'm getting ready to dye my hair. This color is what I've been using lately. It's Copper Crave. Um, I usually like this color. I just got to do the roots, but I might kind of blend it in a little bit. Um, you see me a lot of times kind of be a, more like a strawberry blonde. That's usually in the summer because the, if you know about hair color, red is the color that fades the most. Like you got to keep it up and I don't want to damage my hair so during the fall and winter months and sometimes the spring I will this is the color I like to do in the summer I'll go more to strawberry blonde because I'm not gonna fight it I'm gonna be out in the sun and it fades so yeah I got up kind of early because I went to bed early last night was Friday I did some errands after work and when it gets dark I just lose my energy levels and yeah there's people partying and there's people going out but it's like I don't know sometimes I just don't want to like stay out late and party and then you know me and night people like when I say day people and night people don't take like I'm not like it's not a big deal is as I just prefer going out during the day and doing things and having cocktails during the day it's because it, it's lighter atmosphere night sometimes people get into doing the shots and then they get like it just kind of gets crazier and drama happens and all of a sudden you stay out late and then you then in the morning you don't wake up refreshed in the morning and feel terrible and so I try to avoid that unless there's a real plan unless I had someplace I needed to go or do this or do that but I'm like you know what I need to go home I just need to save my money anyway I don't want to go out buying stuff and even even the neighbors are having stuff it's didn't you know, I just didn't feel like it. I just felt like staying home, and I made a bunch of stuffing. I love vegetarian stuffing. I I got, like, vegetable broth, and I made, like, the stuffing. I added lots of vegetables, chopped up a bunch of different kind of vegetables, put them all in there. I didn't have any onions, but I used that um, French onion, those little crispy onions you put in green bean casserole. It works. So I made a big batch of stuffing. And I had a, I opened a can of cranberry sauce, and I had leftover candied yams, and I basically mixed it all together, and I had a, I had a lot of it. In fact, I'm eating a little bit for breakfast right now. I'm in a little bit of coffee, although I don't really need it. I got enough sleep. It's hard for me to drink coffee when I'm already awake, and that's Miss Josephine in the background. Whenever I'm talking on camera, she she likes to chime in, huh, baby girl? Yes, you do. So anyway, this is my Saturday so far. Um, I was just going to do this, but I thought I better talk to you first because I don't want to be on camera with this stuff in my hair. It's not attractive. Even though I have no makeup on, my hair is really dirty in a ponytail. I'm in my pajamas still. Um, I'll probably be just doing this. After I get done doing my hair, I'm hoping to go for a beach jog. It's a nice uh, sunny day. I do feel like going for a run. I'll probably go for a run. I do need a tan. I haven't really got a tan in a long time, so I'm going to do the fake and bake. I'm going to go um, get a tan, hopefully. Uh, that is the plan. I haven't done it yet, but this is the plans. And we know plans sometimes they don't work out. So I want to go for a beach jog later after I dye my hair, go for a tan. Uh, and then later on, um, we have our Christmas parade that goes down the street. And that happens later on tonight. But one of my neighbors is having a pre-party, so uh, I might go there first for the pre-party at my neighbor's house, and then we're going to go down to the to see the Christmas parade. So that's what's going on to, today. And last night, I got my nails done. I don't know if you could see it. Sorry for the sun. It's like a berry, but it's also, it's called grapevine, so it's supposed to be grape color, but it looks to me more like a berry and then I put like little, I how I do that little ombre. And yeah, I got a little bit on me because I did have it professionally done. 
but they didn't put enough speckles as I like. They, they, they kind of were like little chintzy on my on my speckles. So I bring my own polish. So when I came home, I added more polish to it. So I added more speckles, and of course, I get some on me. So as soon as I take a shower, that all scrub off. But I got my toes done as well, same color. So that is my new nails. I like them a little more pointy than this, but that'll work. That's fine. That's good. So I got my nails done. What's the other thing I got? Yeah, I kind of wrote down notes because sometimes I think of things I want to tell you and I forget. And I don't even know if this is interesting, but this is Vlogmas. This is just like my vlog. It's kind of like an online diary. Okay. What have I been doing? Well, let's see. I'm going to dye my hair. Oh, Trisha and Mama got back. Trisha and Lena Paytas, they did a video uh, about uh, called Chicka Filet Mukbang, where they, they it's a it's a video that they just put up, and they did a shout out to me. <laughs> Thank you guys. Like Lena, she was talking about Miss Josephine and uh, stuff like that, and that she watches my videos and my Snapchat. So I'm gonna have to Snapchat more because sometimes like I forget to Snapchat. And, and thank you. They did a shout out on the video and it was so sweet. And I watch you guys too. I love you guys as well. I usually try to watch um, your videos while I'm at work at the laundromat. Like when I'm doing stuff um, in the background, um, I like to have it on. And, you know, it's kind of like my TV. Like I bring my computer and I watch you guys when I can. So uh, thank you for the shout out. That was amazing. I loved it. And I did a Snapchat about it. And, um, what did I do? Oh, I got to be frugal this month, even though it's the holiday season and I got gifts to buy and stuff like that. But um, why do cool concerts come out and the tickets come out during December? Why? <laughs> now, I understand it might be a good gift for someone, but okay, that's the deal. First thing was... Um, Punk Rock Bowling. If you don't know what Punk Rock Bowling is, it's a festival in Vegas. And I went one year. My husband said he, he took me there for my birthday, but now I know he just likes going there. And But anyway, a few years ago, he took me there, and I, I really liked it. It was downtown Vegas. It's a three-day festival. They have a bunch of bands. One of my friends actually is one of the organizers. Um, and we stayed, I think, at the Plaza, but there's also the Golden Nugget. It's a three-day festival, and we had VIP tickets. It was wonderful. And then not only do they have a three-day festival, but at nighttime they have certain clubs that will have the band, since the bands are there, will play local clubs. And you can go to the clubs and see the bands as well. But the past few years I didn't go because I just couldn't afford it. Plus, you know, the tickets for a three-day festival – Plus traveling to Vegas and plus um, hotel fees because it is Memorial Day weekend. And so a lot of hotel raises their fees. And it's my birthday weekend, you know. Um, but they went on sale. And when they first go on sale concert tickets, they're, well, I don't want to say they're cheap, but they're, they're, they start at this price. And then if you wait, it goes up more and more and more. It's like they call it in tiers. Like if you get on it right now, it's this price. But if you wait, then they keep raising it. So when I got on it, it was like $125, which was good for all three days, general admission. Of course, that doesn't include the fees. But anyway, so I was tempted. I'm like, do I? And it's, it's not till May 27th, which is my birthday. And I was like, should I? But it's only $125. And if I decide to go later, it's going to be more money. VIP was like $400. i am not going to do that. I don't need that. It's fine. Um, so I splurged. I bought it. $125. Well, it doesn't sound like a lot. But I haven't got my hotel room yet. I figured I'm going to get my hotel next month. Because I can't, I can't do everything in one month. That's just too much. So I bought it. So I'm really excited. I got a ticket for Punk Rock Bowling. Now I just got to get a hotel room. But I'm going to see if the other people are going to go. Maybe we could all get together because it would be a shame for to waste all that money on a hotel room. And it's just me. But we'll see. Uh, so that's what's going on. I did splurge on that. The second splurge. Oh, besides my car registration, always due right in December. Car registration is $200 there too. But that's normal. That's 
that's not really a splurge. That's a necessity. So that just kind of sucks the timing on that. But, um, yeah, don't buy a car first of the year because then it always renews right then. Um, also, oh, the stones. Now, I saw the stones a long time ago. Uh, I think it was at Dodger Stadium, and I think it was a bunch of people. I think, I don't know if it was Prince or, like, but there's other bands. I think Kid Rock was there. It was like a bunch of bands. And I'm trying to remember. And I believe the Stones were part of it. But it was a long time ago. And I don't remember. But I, I, I do believe I saw them live. Yes, I remember them. Because I remember Mick going, yeah, yeah, I did see them live. Um, but anyway, I was always a fan of them. But not really. Until Jonesy's Jukebox, which um, Steve Jones who used to be in the Sex Pistols, uh, he has a radio show on KLOS Monday through Friday from 12 noon to 2. And the stuff he plays is amazing. I love all his music. It's very obscure stuff. Not that, not stuff you really hear on the radio, but it's stuff that I like. Um, like 1970s punk, but then blues and and dirty rock and roll and, and just and some, and some new stuff. Um, in fact, my phone is full of playlists. Like my, I have so much music on my phone because of Jonesy. But anyway, he was playing old stones and I re I fell in love with the stones all over again, but I fell in love with them differently. Now it's like, I just love their old stuff. I like their old gritty rock and roll stuff. So, um, so when the stones and then, you know, they're getting older, I don't know how, like, this is a band that you got to see cause they're just iconic. <laughs> They've been around for so long. They, they were part of the pioneers of rock and roll that brought music. That's now like they are the pioneers of my kind of music. Um, so I got to see them. It's like, see, you got to see the who you got to see the stones, uh, who else you got to see that's like back in the day? Like you just got to see people that like Paul McCartney, if their wheels were around, Paul McCartney is like, you know, like you, when they come around, you got to go see them, you know? So, but then I'm a member of their website and I had a pre-access code. I, so I it was a certain time I logged on. It was too busy and they said, it will refresh. You're in line. There's 2000 people ahead of you. So it took me like an hour to get into, to buy the tickets. And I looked around after I waited in line for an hour. The cheapest ticket was $375, which some people might think it's not a big deal, but $375, but that's not including the fees. So it probably would have been like 400 and something. Um, and that was the cheapest seats and they were all the way in the back, which is fine. I don't care about that, but that's the cheapest seats and that's not including all the fees. And it's during Christmas time, and our splurge like um, like two hundred fifty dollars on the punk rock bowling, and I have car registration, and it's the holidays. So um, I just logged off. I'm like, I can't. I saw them once. It's okay. Well, anyway, I get a text from one of my friends. She goes, Oh my God, there's this um, site you gotta go to, and um, I got my tickets at this price. I go, What? So. I think it's called Vivid Seats or something like that. And I've never heard of this company before. And I go, are you sure it's legit? She goes, yeah, I got them. They're, they're good. So I, I went onto the site and um, I logged on. And I found seats better than the ones I got on Mick Jagger's site, <laughs> on, on, on the Rolling Stone site, for $154. Yeah, $154. Better seats. Um, you know, fees included, but it wasn't that much. It was only like, like $12 extra for insurance. If you want insurance, which of course I got. Um, so I bought them and that's not till May 11th. That's at the Rose Bowl. So this isn't, so May is going to be happening for me. You know, May is going to be great because I'm not going to spend any money in May that, that already got the tickets for that. It's just now it's like, oh, so I'm like really pinching pennies i'm really saving now because it's the holiday season you know what i mean and then i have this big christmas tree i put up it's three stories it's uh i don't even know how many lights i uh, it's a lot of strings of lights in fact i had to get a, a, a 
an extension cord that's grounded, like, because it's it took a lot of juice. Uh, so not only did I pay for the Christmas lights and put them up, but my electric bill is going to be. One year, it was like $400. Yeah, my electric bill was $400. Last year, I think it was three. I don't know why it went down. but um, So I got to save money for my big electric bill coming out next month. So, um, but yeah, I brought the Stones tickets. I mean, is this one of those things? I'm just going to have to really save and pinch my pennies because um, it's the Stones. <laughs> and it's that Rose Bowl. And it's like... I have it, you know. So that's another reason why I have been just staying home, saving my money, and because I just got to pick and choose where I, I waste my money. I just don't want to waste my money just, you know, frivolously. So I've been watching a lot of TV. I've been on the couch. I've been on the computer. I've been walking around. I've been getting a lot of sleep because it gets dark, like, at 5 o'clock now. So I go to, like, literally, I will climb in bed. One time I climbed in bed at 7.30. Because I figured, you know, I'm going to watch TV, but I'm going to end up falling asleep on the couch. So I might as well climb in bed and watch TV, and then I could fall asleep whenever I want. So, and usually I fall asleep sometimes like 8, 9 o'clock. Now, 9 o'clock used to be my bedtime. But now I've been going to bed early, like earlier. But then again, I wake up with no problem. I wake up at 4. And usually I wake up at 4, and, you know, when I wake up, when I would go to bed at 9 or 10, I woke up at 4, I'm like, ugh. You know, because it takes me a while to maybe fall asleep. But now that I've been going up early, get waking up early, I'm rusted. I wake up at four, like, boom. So it's actually working out for me. You know, and like I said, night people are weird. I'm sorry for a night person. I'm just not. You know, there's day people and night people. And night people think day people are like, oh, my God, day people. I cannot be a day person. I don't understand. Morning people. I'm a morning person. I love getting up in the morning. I love getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, not so much sometimes. Sometimes I'm all cuddled up with my cat, and I don't want to get out of bed. It's just I could just stay there forever. Like, seriously, people think I'm, I'm joking. They think, what? I, 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 to me, heaven is either on my couch or in my bed with my animals, with TV on, and maybe a nice glass of wine. And that, to me, that's heaven. If if ever I go to heaven, and if that was my ideal thing, that would be me on a cloud with all my animals, um, with a cocktail, TV, and just snuggling. That is heaven to me. That is like the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. I don't care what kind of vacation you give me. I don't care if it's Hawaii. I don't care if it's Paris. I don't care. That, to me, is heaven heaven and I get that every night so I'm yeah I'm pretty blessed I'm pretty blessed but anyway I wake up like and I love mornings because I get up at four and I do I like it's almost like automatic I have you know I have to do my animal chores every minute of the day like it's very calculated like when I'm doing push-ups yes I do push-ups I know it's like okay it's this you know like five Five, uh, was it 5.44? 5.44 a.m. I'm on, and I look, and I go, 5.44? Because, like, everything I do, like, I, it's like I get up, I, you know, I do the cat litter, and I do the cat food, and I do this, and it's like, there's a routine I do. And then, like, literally, I'm out the door at a certain time, like, I know I'm brushing my teeth at this time. I know if I don't get out to do the cat litter before 5 a.m., like, it has to be a, it has to be a little bit before 5 a.m., I'm running late. Like, I'm running late. If I'm not making the bed at this time, like, at, if I'm not making the bed, like, you know, like, everything, it's like, and I don't really look at the time, but sometimes I will look up, and it's, it's like, yep, yeah, that's exactly to the minute that I am doing what I am doing right now. It's just calculated. And I like it because it's autopilot. I don't have to think. It's so less stress when things are, like, scheduled. Some people don't like tedious work. I used to think I didn't like it. I don't like it sometimes. I get burnt out. But it's kind of almost medication. Medication. Oh, it's medication, too. I mean, it's, oh, my God, can I say the word? Meditation. It's almost meditation. Meditation. <laughs> sometimes my mouth. I don't know why. I don't even know why it's crooked. When I look at videos, I see, like, one side of my mouth. 
I don't know, maybe one of the one maybe I had a stroke. I don't know. I don't understand why one side of my mouth droops. It's I've only noticed it since I've been doing vlogs. It's just weird. And my tongue and I, there's some words it's just hard for me to pronounce. It's hard to get my mouth around those syllables. It's just odd. So but yeah, medication or meditation. But the routine of Monday through Friday I kind of like it because it's meditation where I don't have to think about it. I just do it. And the day goes by and I feel accomplished because I'm doing stuff. When I don't really have a plan or stuff, I don't know what to do because I, I always need to I need to feel like I accomplished something. Something. That's why stress eating, I think it's called stress eating because you're stressed. And so you, you don't know what to do and you need to accomplish something. So you're like, well, I'll eat. We got to eat. So, so stress is also like an activity but also it feels like you're accomplishing something you're doing something at least that's my mind thing so having a routine is kind of cool because you could break out of the routine when there's something cool enough to break out of the routine where you're still feeling accomplished but if you have nothing really planned routine is pretty good I kind of like it so that's my Monday through Friday you know I do stuff and so getting enough sleep is kind of cool now it's Saturday, like there's no real plan. However, I did write that things down, like I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for a jog, go for a tan, and I'm also looking at the time. It's like 22 minutes, and I don't want to keep rambling. See, this is what happens when I haven't talked to you in so long. Everything starts coming up, and I start rambling. So I think I'm going to like end this so I have something to talk about to you tomorrow. And I've been updating my OnlyFans site. You know, I have OnlyFans.com backslash Stacey Burke. Um, of course, I have StaceyBurke.com as well, but um, that I update as well. But uh, I had some fan requests, so uh, I had to find some photos uh, for the fans. So if you're a member of that, you just request something. Oh, that's weird. It's snowing. <laughs> I'll request something on my OnlyFans um, site, and I've and. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to edit all this stuff. Just OnlyFans.com backslash Stacey Burr. So that is what's going on. Uh, well, I think I'm going to wear my Krampus sweatshirt. I love Krampus. If you know me and Christmas, I love Krampus. In fact, one of these days, I want to get a Krampus tree. I want to get a um, I want to get a Christmas tree and have Krampus ornaments. I I would love to have a decorations of just Krampus. I just spent a lot of money on Christmas decorations, and they're just normal. I like normal. That's fine. But wouldn't it be cool to have a bunch of Krampus decorations? Just nothing but Krampus. If you don't know who Krampus is, he's he's the opposite of Santa Claus. Like, Santa Claus handles the nice boys and girls. Krampus handles the naughty ones. Just Google him. It's kind of a dark folklore, but I like Krampus. He's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. I think that's all I really want to talk to you about. Oh, I have been drinking a lot of eggnog. I love eggnog. I haven't been drinking wine. I haven't been feeling like drinking wine. In fact, did I open them? No. I've been drinking eggnog on the rocks. And I know that's a lot of calories and it's very sweet. But that's why I put it on the rocks. And I let it sit on the rocks for a long time to get diluted. Um, and then I stir it up with a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, I've been drinking eggnog. Too much eggnog. I didn't like the pumpkin eggnog. I bought the pumpkin spice eggnog. It's not good. I like the regular spiked eggnog. And I think that's it. I'm going to let you go because it's getting, it's, wow, it's 25 minutes. I don't think I'm going to put an intro. I don't think I'm going to put really anything. So I hopefully the thumbnail works out okay. <laughs> the thumbnail, hopefully it's okay. I might have to edit the thumbnail. It's just disgusting. But anyway. To all my Stace Cadets and all my Briquettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time, peace.